All right, guys, what's going on? Jen Mint here. We're going to do a deep dive, thorough tour of the entire library. Now, before we moved to this house, I ended up purging a lot of stuff. I was running out of space in that house, and then I knew we had to move the entire collection. So I got rid of stuff that I didn't love, that wasn't really for me. And this is what we're left with a lot of space and a lot of room to grow. So that's what we're going to be doing here. To the left is going to be where. Uh, the independent stuff is and some of the oversized books. So on the top here, we have some of the DC Absolute Edition books. We have uh, Dark Knight's Metal. We have Doomsday Clock. We have the new deluxe edition for The Inkle. And oh, I almost missed it. Grant Morrison, uh, The Absolute Multiversity. I used to have that in a deluxe edition, got rid of it. Now we got the Absolute. We've got the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror Omnibus, which is a slipcase absolute format style book. Then we have some art books here, the Joe Jusco Marvel Masterworks, and then the Boris Vallejo Julie Bell art book as well. These are some of my favorites, man. I love the painters and these oversized books showing off their art are some of my favorites. I do also have the Joe Jusco Kickstarter um, 1992 Marvel Masterpiece book coming as well. We have a grand design for uh, The Hulk by Jim Rugg, Treasury Edition, along with Electra Black, White, and Blood. I don't really collect these. These are gonna end up being giveaways or so. And then we just have a, <laughs> an ice cold um, Tashin, is that the company? Like hip hop jewelry book. I was digging it, Fee hit it for Christmas for me. So that's up there. Also in this area, it's stuff that I don't really plan to keep. We'll get into that. We have the uh, Turtles Ultimate Collection, volumes one through six. I have an extra volume three. I think I'm gonna do a giveaway for those. Maybe I'll sell them, I'm not really sure. Uh, then we have another one that's not for, uh, you know in the personal collection is volume two of, what is this? Parker, the Martini Collection? Not familiar with that. That's something that we got from Organic Price Books. 30 years of Yusagi Yojimbo. Not part of the PC, that's another one that we're gonna get rid of. Temporarily have the Raphael life-size hands with size. I got a lot of turtle stuff on the shelf. The animated series in the van box set. Got Transformers, Beast Wars, and Batman animated series, DVD box sets. And then just a couple of novels. Some stuff, uh, some inspirational stuff, I guess you could say. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, Gene Simmons, Me. You got the Fat Joe, Book of Jose, Rick Ross, Perfect Day to Boss Up, Gucci Mane, and Raekwon. I've read the Joe book and uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Haven't read the other ones yet. Laptop, <laughs> headphones. Here is a bunch of trade paperbacks. These are things that I use for giveaways whether it's on whatnot or like the monthly gem crates. Same with the omnibus. So this is just like my get rid of stuff shelf. Here's me pathetically trying to build back the indie section. Images, little bird, booms, something is killing the children, slipcase, hardcover, ice cream man, volume one, firepower, volume one, Rye and Rick Grimes, 2000. Those are also gonna be giveaways. So this is essentially my new image section I'm building up. Magazine style bags and boards. Then we have uh, the She Omnibus Volume 1. This was an Indiegogo project from Billy Tucci. Uh, Elvira Omnibus from Dynamite and The Boys Omnibus. Plus the Selected Scripts book um, by Garth Ennis. So we got The Boys Omnis there. This was a Christmas present from the kids. The Spider-Man Nano uh, Metal Figs. Here we just have some single issues from Scout that I need to bag and board. Packing material, trading card tins for Marvel Universe volumes or series one through three. Nothing over here, just some tools, camera lenses, label maker. Then we are working on the TMNT section. So we have the first volume for the TMNT Omnibus. Then we have the deluxe editions for the IDW run. We have the last Ronin and then we have the Archie, TMNT Adventures, Trade Paperbacks, Volumes 1 through 16. It's like the more cartoonish stuff in comic book form. And then just some more miscellaneous stuff, wires and such, and nothing on the bottom shelves. So a lot of room to grow there. Spawn Deluxe Editions are coming in. 
I need to rebuild back, get like the uh, Walking Dead slip cases, maybe work on growing the Absolute Edition section a little bit more. But that's gonna bring us on over, well, I was gonna say Marvel, but before we talk about Marvel, the very top shelf is my manga section. So we got the Akira box set, highly recommend. It is a must read for manga. Uh, the anime is great too. Then we have Battle Angel, Alita, and Blame. Haven't checked those out yet. Of course, we have Berserk. Volume one is with my daughter, trying to get her to read it. My favorite manga series. Just got done reading Chainsaw Man, loved it. Currently watching the anime with my daughter as well. Picked up Dark, uh, Die Dark Volume One. I want to check that out. Got the Demon Slayer box set. I don't know if I'm going to read it. I've seen the anime and the movie, but we have the box set. Fist of the North Star. I started reading. I think I need to read Volume Three or Four. I'm on one of those. Picked up. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, Kaiju Eight Volume One is back there hidden. JoJo's uh, Bizarre Adventure Volume 1, haven't read. We got the My Hero Academia box set, haven't checked that out yet. And then this whole record of Ragnarok, just kind of an impulse buy. So the top's gonna be the manga section. You know, we need books to cover those wires. We have Mortal Kombat 1 10 scale statues from Iron Studios up here. And then that is everything for Manga. Now let's get into the Marvel Omnis, which take up the most space. That Spider-Man booth is an open enrollment for their February subscription box. Not only will you get five comics at random with a retail value of $100, but you'll also get two exclusives limited to this box. Both of them are Ninja Funk 1 Second Prince, the Skrillex Rookie Card, and the Dip Rookie Card variant. These are limited to 100 copies each, 50 for the foils and 50 for the medals. Again, these are only available through ThatSpidermanBooth.com via their subscription box. Check them out today. I think I have everything in alphabetical order. So Acts of Vengeance, we have the main omnibus and the crossovers, Jessica Jones alias, the three aliens volumes. Here we have the Todd McFarlane Spider-Man Artist Edition from IDW with the quarter scale and one tenth scale uh, Stan Lee statues by Iron Studios with like a little pull out area to uh, access the window. Got Alpha Flight by John Byrne, Annihilation and Annihilation Conquest, Atlantis Attacks, Avengers Volumes 1 through 4. And we front face the books, spreads out the collection a little bit more. If you had everything facing spine out, it would look like a lot less book. So it also helps when you get like another A on the bus. And instead of having to shuffle everything, you can kind of just side face a book and then slide the other one in there. Got Avengers The Crossing, uh, Avengers The Gathering, uh, Avengers by Kurt Busiek and George Perez, Avengers by John Byrne, West Coast Avengers 1 and 2, Savage Avengers, New Avengers, Avengers by Jonathan Hickman 1 and 2. As you can see, we have another Volume 2 in the uh, giveaway section. Then we have Avengers vs. X-Men and Young Avengers. All right, so I believe there is another Young Avengers that was a thinner one that I don't have anymore. And some of this stuff might not even be in the right order. I just kind of put it all up by memory. Moving into uh, the Bs, we got Black Panther with the, what do they call this? Is it just like a volume one? The early years. So that one's still sealed. I usually never have sealed Omnis on here, but during the whole move, I kind of fell behind. We got Black Panther by Ta-Nehisi Coates. Then we got the Black Widow Omnibus. Captain America Silver Age, Volumes 1 and 2, oh, 1, 2, and 3. Then we have Captain America by Mark Wade, by Dan Jurgens, And then we have the Ed Brubaker five book series. Volume 1, Death of Captain America, Captain America Lives, uh, Return of the Winter Soldier, and The Trial of Captain America. Then we got Cat by Rick Remender. Then we jump into Captain Britain, Captain Marvel, still sealed. Then we have the Carnage and Absolute Carnage, Cloak and Dagger Volume 1, uh, Conan the Barbarian by Kurt Busiek. That's the only Conan one that I kept. And then Cosmic Ghost Rider. That's on the shelf one. Moving on over to shelf two. We're gonna start with the Silver Age Daredevil, then the Frank Miller Daredevil and Companion. Then we got the Ed Brubaker volumes. 
Mike, uh, Brian Michael Bendis, Shadowland, and then Marvel Knights. The uh, Mark Wade volumes, Charles Soule. And then we jump into Deadpool with Deadpool Beginnings, Deadpool Classic, Deadpool by Joe Kelly, Deadpool and Cable, uh, Deadpool by Daniel Way. And this is by what, Posen and Dugan, or is that? No, no, that's Deadpool Co. Then we got the four minibus, and then there's Deadpool by Posen and Dugan. Jumping into the Defenders Omnibus, the Doctor Doom Book of Doom, then Doctor Strange Volume 1 and 2 from the Silver Age, the three volumes from the 90s, then Doctor Strange by Jason Aaron, got Earth X Volumes 1 and 2, the Avengers Fantastic Four Empire event, the Complete Saga for the Eternals, Evolutionary War, Excalibur 1 and 2, then Fantastic Four Silver Age Volumes 1 through 4, John Burns, two volumes, Fantastic Four by Mark Wade, the two volumes from Jonathan Hickman, and then the Matt Fraction. On to the Lonely Ghost Rider Omnibus by Jason Aaron. We really need more Ghost Rider Omnis, right? Then I have only a few Guardians um, Omnis. I got rid of some that double dipped. This is the Jim Valentino Guardians of the Galaxy, the Bendis, then we have Tomorrow's Heroes, and Jerry Dugan Omnibus. We got Hawkeye by Matt Fraction, Heroes Reborn and Heroes Return from the late 90s, early 2000s, and then the Heroes Reborn uh, from recent, what, a year or so ago. Incredible Hulk Volume 1, we have Planet Hulk and World War Hulk, then we have the four uh, Peter David volumes, Hulk by Loeb and McGinnis, and that's going to bring us on over to Thanos, so Thanos Infinity Origin, which has all the pre-gauntlet stuff. Then you have Infinity Gauntlet, War and Crusade. Then Thanos Infinity Saga to round out the Thanos books. Got the Immortal Iron Fist by Brubaker. And then we're into Iron Man. So volume one and two from the Silver Age. Then you've got the Kurt Busiek. And then Iron Man continues. On the third shelf here, the David Michelini, the Dan Slott, the Mask in the Iron Man. And then we have the King of Black. Loki, Volume 1, Luke Cage, Marvel Cosmic Universe by Donny Cates. And I think I'm only keeping that because it has Silver Surfer Black. It double dips with what? Cosmic Ghost Rider and Venom, I believe. Marvel's Omnibus, Miracle Man Still Sealed. We got Moon Knight, Volumes 1 and 2 by Monch. We have the Houston Benson and Hurwitz Moon Knight, the Morbius Omnibus. Namor, The Submariner by John Byrne and Jay Lee, New Warriors Volumes 1 and 2. Kind of messed up the spines on that, right? A couple of these have messed up spines, especially the Silver Age ones with the rebranding. I do like how they did the spines on the New Mutants Volume 1 and 2, though. This is like from the earlier issues and then the more modern looking New Mutants logo. Punisher, Back to the War Omnibus. Then we have the Rick Remender, the two different Garth Ennis series. You have the Marvel Ma uh, Max Volumes 1 and 2 and the regular Marvel. And then Punisher Max by Jason Aaron. Secret Invasion, Secret Wars 1 and 2. Sensational She-Hulk. And we have the Peter David She-Hulk Silver Surfer Volume 1. Then we get into some Spider stuff. So Spider-Gwen Omnibus. Amazing Spider-Man Volumes 1 through 5. And here's what I'm talking about, about like the differences in the spines. Don't really like that. We have Spectacular Spider-Man Volume 1, Spider-Man by Roger Stern, by Todd McFarlane. Uh, so it's Amazing Spider-Man by McFarlane, and then just Spider-Man by McFarlane. Spider-Man vs. Venom, Spider-Man by David Mussolini and Eric Larson. You've got the John Byrne Omnibus, the two JMS Omnibus. Untold Tales of Spider-Man. Then we got the Clone stuff. So the Clone Saga Volume 1 and 2, Ben Riley 1 and 2, Ultimate Spider-Man, Death of Ultimate Spider-Man. We have Spider-Verse Spider-Geddon, and then the two Miles Morales Omnis, followed by the Squadron Supreme. So that's everything on that shelf. Jumping into the Mighty Thor with the first three volumes, Silver Age, then the Walter Simonson Thor. We got Heroes Return, Volumes 1 and 2. 
uh, Thor by J. Michael Straczynski and by Matt Fraction. And finally, the Jason Aaron Thor Omnibus, bringing us to the two Thunderbolts volumes, the Ultimates. Then we got the Venn Omnibuses. So the first three volumes that collect all like the initial mini series, Venom by Donny Cates. And then we have uh, War of Kings. So the Road to War of Kings, War of Kings, and then the Realm of Kings Omnis. Then we got the War of the Realms, the two what ifs, Wolverine volumes one and two, Wolverine by Mark Miller, uh, Weapon X The Return, Wolverine by Jason Aaron, followed by Wolverine Goes to Hell, um, Wolverine and the X-Men, and then the X-23 All New Wolverine. X-Factor by Peter David, volumes one and two. We have X-Force volume one, and Deadpool and X-Force is essentially volume two. Then we have Cable and X-Force, Uncanny X-Force, and then the X-Men Omnis. So we got the two Stanley Silver Age Omnis. We have Uncanny X-Men Volumes 1 through 4, Age of Apocalypse with the Companion, the Jim Lee, Chris Claremont X-Men Volume 1 and 2, X-Men Fall of the Mutants. And the bottom shelf here, we have Mutant Massacre, the Inferno Prologue plus Inferno, X-Men Revolution, Extreme X-Men, X-Men Avengers Onslaught, Ultimate X-Men, X-Men vs. Apocalypse the 12, Astonishing X-Men, New X-Men, House of M, X-Men Grand Design, and X-Men Legacy Legion. So then we have a bunch of space left over, and I have some of my um, Hoxpox stuff over here. House of X, Powers of 10, Oversized Hardcover, uh, Ten of Swords, Hardcover, Hellfire Gala, X-Men Omnibus by Jonathan Hickman, and Ten Lives and Ten Deaths of Wolverine, Oversized Hardcovers. So that's going to round out the Marvel stuff with the ladder there. And on to DC. So I ended up getting rid of all the Golden Age stuff. I guess it would have been nice now that I have the space, but at the time, man... Like if you notice with Golden Age Cap and all the Golden Age miscellaneous Marvel books, the Golden Age DC stuff, I just didn't have the room. They didn't want to move with more unnecessary books. So we've got mostly modern stuff. Grant Morrison, Animal Man, Jeff Lemire, Animal Man, Jeff Johns, Aquaman, The Authority, Omnibus, American Vampire by Scott Snyder, Volumes 1 and 2, Batgirl Returns, Omnibus, Batgirl of Burnside, then into Batman, we have the Neil Adams Omnibus, Jeff Loeb, Tim Sale, the three Nightfall Omnis. We have Road to No Man's Land and then No Man's Land Volumes 1 and 2. Batman Black and White, Batman by Paul Dini, Batman Eternal, Batman and Robin, Batman the Arkham Saga. And here in front of the other windowed area, we've got the Batman Premium Format by Sideshow, which I kind of showed you guys during the tour. Little YouTube plaque gem. Continuing the Batman books, we've got The Rise and Fall of the Batman by James Tiny and the Fourth. Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo's Batman volumes here, volumes one and two. Got the Batwoman Omnibus, Before Watchmen, Catwoman of East End, DC One Million Omni, uh, the Dead Man Omnibus, Deathstroke by Christopher Priest, and the New 52 volume. We have Doom Patrol by Grant Morrison and by John Byrne. And we've got The Flash by Mark Wade, the three Jeff Johns volumes, and the Flashpoint 10th Anniversary Omnibus, uh, plus The Flash by Francis Manipal Omni. I only kept the Jack Kirby, The Fourth World Omnibus, and uh, then we have Fourth World by John Byrne, Grayson, The Super Spy Omnibus, the two volumes for Green Arrow, The Longbow Hunter Saga, Oh, and then this is, I, I took this out of the um, dust jacket because I want to read that right now. So that's Batman No Man's Land. All right, then we have the Green Lantern, Jeff John's Saga, the three volumes plus Blackest Night and Brightest Day, Gotham Central, Hawkman, and Hellblazer. Some great material there. Then we're getting into some crisis events. We really need a Crisis on Infinite Earths omnibus, but we got Infinite Crisis and Final Crisis. Uh, Injustice Volumes 1 and 2, Invisibles by Grant Morrison, JLA by Grant Morrison, 
then Jeff Johns JSA Volumes 1 through 3, Justice League International Volume 1 and 2, and then the Detroit Era Omnibus. Then we've got the Volumes 1 and 2 for the New 52, plus Justice League Dark from the New 52, the Dark Side War Saga Omnibus, Lucifer Volume 1, uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Omnibus, We've got Nightwing, The Prince of Gotham, uh, Orion Omnibus by Walter Simonson, Planetary. We have the two Preacher volumes, Red Hood, New 52, Sandman Omnibus, Volumes 1 through 3, and Grant Morrison's Seven Soldiers. These are just some more Scout Comics books. Gem Mint Bookmark. Don't leave home without it. All right, guys, last shelf for DC. We've got the Spectre Omni. We've got Superman, The Exile, and other stories. Uh, Death and Return of Superman. Superman, Batman. Superman by Peter J. Tomasi. We've got the Grant Morrison Superman. Swamp Thing by Nancy A. Collins. And the New 52 volume. New Teen Titans with the five volume set. George Perez kicked it off. Teen Titans by Jeff Johns. And Wonder Woman by George Perez. War of the Gods Omnibus and rounding it out with Zero Hour Crisis in Time. And that's it for the DC and all of the Omni. So like I said, I still have a lot of room to grow, which is good, unlike the statue area. We're gonna fill up some more manga on the top, just choice titles, essentials, like Akira, like Berserk. Uh, have a lot of room to grow in the indie section, and even in the Marvel section, because it's not just filling up the blank spaces. We have a lot of you know front-facing books that we could end up changing, but that's the library tour. I do plan to get a little couch, coffee table, rug set up here uh, so I can read down here. I do plan on doing more omnibus review content. So yeah, man, let me know what you guys think. Appreciate you watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.